Hello, this is going to be about Surreal DB and Rust. The aim is to use Surreal QL, Surreal Query Language Syntax, within Rust code. We'll add a graph edge using Relate, and we'll select some output and print it. Okay, so let's look at a very specific example, because I don't think there's any point just being general about this. So, create. we're creating a new record. Here we use type, double colon, table. We're passing in table as a variable. Now, table comes from bind. Because we added bind, so whatever appears here that I'm highlighting here is equal to whatever I put in quotes here. So table is equal to topic. And then topic ends up in here. So we are creating type table topic. Every time you add a new record, you need to specify the table name followed by the what you want to use for the ID. If you don't specify what you want to use for the ID, it will generate a random ID for you. This line here, let mag, so dollar mag equal, I've hard coded this. This is because I'm still learning and testing this. Ultimately, this will be a variable which I'll pass in to my add relate function, which is what all of, all of this is. So I've got the magazine, which is basically going in the product table. And we're relating the magazine and we're saying so the magazine is like the, the first noun then featured is the verb and then we've got the other noun so this magazine the magazine with this id featured and featured is a graph edge table so it featured this topic so dollar dp equals and again, we use, so here we use type table, and here we use type thing. So this is really important when you're writing Surreal QL query language within the Rust Surreal, Q, Surreal DB SDK. Type colon colon thing, and then you specify the topic so that in this case this is if we imagine product is our left hand table topic is our right hand table featured will actually go in the middle of those two if that's how you want to visualize it so type colon colon thing type so type type thing a type is a table name followed by what you want to use for the id and in this case, in our topic table, we're going to use topic variable as the ID. So whatever this is will be the ID. So that will be the bit to the right hand side of the colon. And topic is a variable, a Rust variable, which is getting passed in here. It's a string slice. So that string slice is getting called top, T-O-P. And then that becomes the record ID for the type thing. So type thing and type table are uh, surreal DB objects. So this allows us to, ah, uh, okay. So I've done these three lines before I jump ahead. So we're going to be, the whole point of this is so that we can use relate. Relate creates a graph edge, which is actually another table. What it does is it writes that table when you add the data. So it's already there to save you needing to do lookups when you want to read your data. You don't have to search entire tables. The queries or effectively the, the queries already um, able to jump straight to the record ID in question 
So here we're using mag to featured TP set, and I'm just setting just so that I can add something in some test data. I'm using time written, time dot written, which actually that's just my code and time double colon now is a surreal DB function. Time dot written is the syntax for putting something inside something else so we've got a variable called person a variable called article and we're going to relate the person to the article and we they we set the time dot written the reason why it's time dot written is so time is the key and then that's the value but within that value you've then got the other key value pair that's one way of doing it that's probably how we should visualize it but that's actually a more concise way to actually do the, do the set time dot written, but you can't use time dot written when you come to deserialize that back to a Rust struct. So what I did with the Rust with my struct was. go to main so here we see I've got the struct and I'm matching time dot written which then is the time underscore written so that's that's what we've got here and it's an option and it's a string so that time that we added in surreal DB ends up as a string we could convert that back but for this purposes we won't And that's what happens when I run it. So I was getting all that before. Magazine, price, blah, blah, blah. And I was doing, was entering uh, cargo run, add, and the date, month, and name. I'm not running it again because I've run this in previous videos and it takes quite a while, half a minute to run. So um, all we're getting here is added. So this is actually information from the graph edge table. And as I say, just bear in mind if you by default the surreal db time time dot colon colon now is a string in Rust by default. Um, just to wrap up, so when I do the select, I'm building a vec of feature structs, and then I take do entries dot take zero question mark. That's kind of you'll get familiar with that. You'll use that frequently when you are extracting what you need from the from the query. And then I just did uh, print entry dot time. So if I'd used entry, I just would have got everything. But I wanted just to pick out the time written. And I used unwrap or default just in case there was a missing value. So if that's a missing value, I just get a pair of quotes, I think, from memory. So the next step is actually to pass in, I'm passing in the topic. So the next step is to actually pass in the, the product. And that will be some more use of let and setting some more variables. But hopefully you can see what's going on here. I'm passing in a variable. The variable ends up in the binding. And then from the binding, I get top. And then top ends up being used in my query. So function to the binding, binding to the, so all of this in here is the surreal QL syntax, not Rust at all, which is, which is like what you would expect with any programming languages that's using, for instance, traditional Rust QL database. But just bear in mind that the interesting thing here is that we're using as, because then that gives us, so, the dot notation allows us to effectively to drill down inside uh, one key value pair if there's a key value pair inside that. And so that's why we use that there. But we can't use that with Rust. So then we say time underscore written. So hopefully that's given you some sort of slightly more advanced example of using relate, of using variables of using type table, type thing, 
don't try and use format because I did and it didn't work. <laughs> so you need to use type thing and then you pass in that, that is your table name and then that is whatever you want to use as your um, your unique record ID. So I'll put a link to the code on GitHub in the video description. Thumbs up, all that stuff. Thanks for watching.